All right, welcome to a kind of a test episode for my um, aforementioned Japanese snack food reviews. Um, so as you can see in front of us, we have an item from a snack box two months ago. Uh, so I thought I'd just, I'd do a little short episode this time, I think. Just because I want to experiment with the format. And then hopefully, if it's a success and, you know, if it turns out like I want, then I shall move on to doing snack reviews of the food from the crate um, of the month, basically. So in front of us we have Momiji Manju flavour of Kit Kat, uh, which is basically it's a red bean paste kind of thing. And yeah, so <clears throat> it is apparently quite well known in Hokkaido, I think. There's a very nice box to it, so um, I don't know, it's got like a special... ooh. Oh, I see, there are multiple Kit Kats in here. Ah, and are they all the same? They are indeed. Alright, so there's three of them. That's kind of cool and kind of weird. Not quite what I expected, really. Um, but yeah, so these are very special. It's a collaboration with another company um, that do these kind of things. So I'm just going to crack open one of these, I think, and keep the other two to myself. Um, so yeah, red bean flavour. I've had one or two things with red bean in before. It was alright. Um, it's got an acquired taste, I think. It's a lot more popular in Japan than it is over here, maybe. Um, obviously, because we don't have red beans in the UK. And, ooh! Oh, now that's cool. So, um, as you can see, if it wants to focus. Uh, so, it has the Kit Kat thing, but it also has um, one of the kind of cooked leaf things um, that they put the red bean paste in. Now weirdly, you can't really break this in half, or can you? Okay, you can, but it doesn't come off very nice. Right, okay, well, that's what's inside. You just got like a... A lot of these special Kit Kats always look like they're white chocolate, but they're not. Or maybe it is a white chocolate base with the flavouring. Anyway, I'm going to give this a try. Alright then, well... That's... Hmm, that, that's quite an interesting taste. So... It's definitely sweet, obviously, but it's got a bit of a flatness to it, like it, it's not bitter per se, but, well, it tastes, honestly, it tastes a bit like a bean, if that makes sense, like if you, I don't know, added sugar to a bean or something, it doesn't, it's not an overbearing taste, also, I mean, it's generally quite nice, to be fair, um, yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's a bit of an odd one, like, I'm not sure I'd particularly go my way to buy any of these, but the taste is quite nice. It's a pleasant sweetness without being overbearing. If you do fancy game one, I suppose, and you're really into red bean, you could do worse and not that into red bean. Anyway, on to another snack. I hold before me a blade of great power and filled with gummies. Um, yeah, so this is the gummy sword that came with the um, March Japan crate. Um, um, it's very themed after Soul Eater, uh, because it's a game where everyone... God, God Eater, sorry, not Soul Eater, where everyone uses uh, katanas and stuff. Um, however, they haven't really mentioned who the who the company behind this is. and um, I'm no expert, but that probably just says katana, I imagine, like gum katana. I'm sure there's a, a producer's name somewhere here. But yeah, there's just nothing on it. Anyway, I'm going to try and unwrap this because this is really weirdly tightly packed plastic. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, um, interesting development. The blade doesn't really stay on the handle. Um, because as I opened it and eventually got all this plastic wrapper off, I realised this plastic kind of splits in half really easily. I think you can kind of put it back, but um, the other problem is just what almost happened on camera. As you can probably see, it's quite a few less gummies than there used to be, because about three or four have fallen on the floor. Uh, but thankfully we do have a nice variety, so I'm going to give one a try. I think these are just generic gum. I don't think there's actually like a flavour to each of them, but I'm going to try the yellow one and see what that tastes like. Alright, yeah. That's kind of generic fruit gum flavour. Um, it's not amazing quality gum, but it's not bad, to be fair. It's a bit, it's a bit more flavourful than some gums. I can't quite tell if it's lemon flavour, though. So I'm going to give the white one a try and see if this tastes any different. Do you know, that's actually very hard to tell. 
Part of me wants to say the white one does taste a little bit different, kind of slightly minty. But I don't know, actually. They kind of... If they do taste different, it's not all that different in taste, to be honest. Yeah, the, these are alright. Like, the, obviously, the gimmick, the only reason you'd really buy it is because you have a katana. Uh, there we are. Although, annoyingly, it doesn't seem to really fit together so I don't know if I've damaged mine or something but see yeah it can't even hold itself up uh, it's just cracking which is a shame really because it's kind of a fun little gimmick ah there we are so that plastic thing stops the gummies not too many fell out actually that's good I'll probably find them on the floor in the next few days and uh, stand on them but yeah um I don't really recommend this. It's a big novelty. Although the katana itself isn't even capable of staying together. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably avoid this one. Right, on to the next snack. Alright, so the penultimate item is uh, a pack of Super Mucho Plum. Which is like potato chips. Uh, and these have the honey plum flavour. Now, I'm not going to lie. Um... I've had like sweet potato chips once or twice before. I'm, mm, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of them because they always come out as sort of kind of nice. Um, I, I don't know, the combination just isn't great. Anyway, they look, um, well, like pretty normal potato chips, really. So, I'm going to put one in my mouth and see how it tastes. Ooh, okay, hmm. Ooh, wow, that, oh, that's a strong aftertaste. Um... Well, I will give it credit here. That does taste exa exactly like you'd think it does, really. It's a bit honey-esque. Um, it's definitely got that sweetness to it. And it's got that, like, sharpness of plum as well. Um, I know plum's really popular in Japan. I don't know, just over here, like, I eat plums, but... Oh, I, I don't know. I think maybe because I'm so used to potato chips being savoury that like eating this just kind of doesn't sit well with me but yeah I'll, I'll be honest not a massive fan of these like the hit of the sourness of the plum kind of lingers in your mouth for a while yeah um not not the best to be honest um i feel like they could have either gone sweeter or less sweet really as it stands eh not not all that great. Anyway, on to the final item. Alright, the last item is Noshi Ume Taro, which is um, a fish fillet, a uh, fish fillet, fish fillet, whatever you want to call it, uh, with like plum sauce on it and some plum meat extract, apparently. Now, I've had something like this before um, that was spiced, and that was really nice. I'm quite a big fan of fish. This, on the other hand, uh, well, I don't know. Plum is nice, but um, not the best. Anyway, this is the thin strip of fish. Ooh, very greasy feeling. Um, you can, actually you can kind of tell that. Obviously, well, I don't think it's grease. It's actually just plum juice or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to uh, tear a bit off. Ooh, there we are. And uh, give it a taste. Oh. Oh. Okay. That. Hmm. God damn. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the the description of it says that it's like uh, salty and sour, or whatever. It is just sour. There's like ugh, there's a little bit of salt at the end. Ooh. Okay. That that is a rough one. That is very acidic uh, in its kind of bitterness. So I don't know. Like if you're not if you're not into like plum uh, <laughs> and stuff. Definitely, you know, keep away. The fish is nice, like, the, the base fish is lovely. Um, you know, just like your regular um, generic fish taste, if that makes sense. It's not particularly strong, but it's quite nice. It is a little bit salty, but that sharp hit of plum really, like, overpowers and stuff. Yeah, I'll be honest, the whole, like, plum thing, I, I appreciate that it's really big in Japan and really important for March, I think is um, what I got all these snacks from for this, like, test episode. Yeah, I'll be honest. Um, 
I, yeah, not not big on the whole plum thing. Um, so, you know, overall, uh, it's been quite hit and miss with some of the snacks. Thank you for sticking through this um, episode of, like, my um, just pilot episode, really. I will get round to doing those um, me kind of mystery things, the Pokemon egg and the Dragon Ball wafer and stuff. That is planned. I'm starting to work on it soon. I just thought I'd give this a test just to see how easy it is for me, basically, to film it and how easy it is to edit and stuff. So if you did like this, let me know in the comment section below. As I said, there will be another episode coming regardless, but I thought I'd give people a while as well. Because the video's only been out a week, I thought I'd give them another week or two, you know, if people watch and maybe comment down below what items they want me to open. So, until next time, goodbye.